In this video, we're going to attack this challenge that I'm sure you've bumped into. If you haven't yet, you will. Let's say you bring in a really cool Paragon character and you want to use it. In this case, it's Moragesh, really cool, evil looking character. But when we apply an animation, let's just play this. We we'll notice that the cloth isn't moving like the, especially the long strip down there it's not moving it's all stiff and if you look at her earrings those big earrings she's got on those are just like all starched out you know they're not they're not moving around f like with real physics so this can become a real frustrating thing took me a while to find out what was going on here so let's take a few minutes and let's figure out what's going on and let's find the fix for this i'm going to go ahead and pause this so the first thing we need to do is we need to find Moragesh under your meshes, wherever you may have your main mesh. So Moragesh here, go ahead and double click that and that will open up the main character. And what we need to do over here on the left where we have the skeleton tree, we don't need to, the clothing over here. And then the asset details, this is the tab that we want. So let's scroll all the way down past all of the materials, all the way past the LOD settings, all the way past the clothing and the, the mesh. When we get all the way down over here to the skeletal mesh, here's where we're gonna find the setting for happiness, the post-process animation blueprint. Now, most of the Paragon characters, if not all of them have an animation blueprint that will do this. But when you first import it in, it's going to say none. So we need, just need to go to the drop down, And the one that we want is the physics subgraph one. This is the one that will work. You can test out this one. Sometimes that'll work. It didn't in this case. So we want the physics one that just takes a, a minute to throw that on there. And it says here that we're now using the post-process animation blueprint. And already you can see down here, that this was, this was swaying a little bit, but let's go back to our map and I've got an animation in here. I have a level sequence for testing purposes. And now look, even, even scrubbing through the timeline, you can see, see her earrings and the piece of cloth hanging down between her knees. See how that's swaying? So if we go ahead and play the animation, this now the clothing and the earrings and any other little gizmos that she might have in her costume are all reacting realistically and accurately in the scene, ready to be recorded. So that's how you fix the stiff cloth. If it's not working, you just go right into the character itself all the way down to the skeletal mesh setting and put in the animation blueprint and that will fix it for you. 